And here's Project Zero. We open it up. Already? Is that already look like 10 times cooler than my mock-up? All right. Let's see. Wait, I'm reading some comments. Oh, that's great. Great. All right, cool. I'm glad you guys like it. Um, all right, so let's check out his mock-up, which is even cooler. Or not, I mean, the real thing, rather, not the mock-up. All right, so we'll call this one Cool Game 3000. All right, best name ever. And uh, it's supposed to be multiplayer, but that's all right. We'll, we'll enable multi-layer in this one. And we'll do iPad and Android. We will have a nag screen, but no iAds. And no in-app purchase, because we don't want to set that up. And then to do Game Center, you have to have some kind of bundle identifier that I don't understand. All right, so there we go. Or you know what, we'll just take it out so we don't have to worry about it. All right, then number two. First, we want to put the music in. Boom, easy enough. Start sound, there we go. And then the game over sound. All right, not too hard. All right, now main character. Let's go with this little guy here. And let's drop some obstacles in. We'll have a mine, and then we'll have a missile, and then we'll have a, a, a balloon there. All right, so we will rotate the mine. That would make sense. Um, let's not rotate the missile. That would be kind of silly. And then the balloon doesn't, well, it could rotate either way. We'll say don't rotate and do not destroy the character, obviously, right? So um, this would be kind of fun, I think, too, to have two things that look similar, kind of like how Doodle Jump has the uh, breakaway platforms. You could have an obstacle that looks similar to another obstacle, uh, but one doesn't hurt you and one does. That would be kind of fun. All right. Now, this is the part that Nick did I thought was so cool. All right. So we drop a background in there and immediately you can already see, you know, how the background's going to look. Right. And then we drop a mid ground. All right. The second one. And that's stolen from Jump Pack. All right. And you can take, let me show you guys this image. So it's just this super long PNG file, right? So it's pretty awesome. You can take a long image like that and boom, it just automatically does it. Now, I don't really like the clouds on the background, so we'll swap it with this image. And yeah, that definitely looks better. Then we could go brighter. That would be kind of cool. But let's, for the sake of uh, doing it, we'll go with that one. All right, then we would change the physics settings. And again, this is still a work in progress, so that's not all completely ready yet. And boom, here we go. So we have our game. Now, here's the amazing thing. Now, this is just obviously showing all the objects on screen so you can get a feel of what the game looks like. So I'm brainstorming with Nick today, and I'm like, dude, is there any way that we can actually play the game in the preview? He's like, let me think on it. Let me give me about two minutes. He comes back 30 seconds later. He's like, yeah, I can do that. So believe it or not, we're going to have it. So when you mess around with these physics settings, you can go back and uh, yeah, and actually play the game and see how it feels. So you can do your balancing all inside of this, not having to mess around with Xcode or a plist file or iOS simulator, none of that. You just sit here and you go, all right, well, you know, this is cool, but it needs to slow down a little bit. All right, yeah, that looks good, but let's just make sure we speed this obstacle up and we'll make it, you know, go this way, boom. Pretty, pretty amazing. All right, so let's uh, go for a different game here. Let's use a cuter character. And in this one, we'll do, that's Colo in there. Colo's a little bit overweight. So we're going to say Colo needs a diet. This is going to be, if you eat the candy, you explode game. All right, and we'll have it destroy the character because he's on a diet. If he breaks his diet, then he is going to explode. And then we will have a uh, rotate animation. And we'll turn him off but you could do it either way, right? And then again, for this one, we want to go with the pretty backdrop. And let's go with, let's see here. Let's go with, how about the pretty trees from Jump Pack? All right. And then we have the Colo uh, flying candy game. Of course, he's eating it a lot now, right? And if we want to swap out just one section, we can keep, say, the blue background, but this is something I stole from Google Images, and there we go. So we have him with the stole. Actually, this whole, everything you see except color is stolen from Google Images. I don't recommend you do that. But you know that's the cool thing, though, guys. You can go to these you know picture outsource sites and like Fotilio.com and all those stock photo sites. I mean, you could get stuff in, in, in seconds and build build really cool stuff that look better in this because you'd be able to 
you know, get really professional artwork without having to do anything. So what do you guys think? Is this pretty cool? Uh, Benny, rotating is not working. So again, we're about two weeks out. So we will, um, we will definitely uh, have all that stuff working, but it'll take about two weeks. All right, sweet. Looks like you guys are into it. Yeah, I thought this was like the coolest thing, uh, pretty much the coolest thing ever. So, um, and, and we have a bunch of ideas on, on how to take this thing to the next level. So, 